I think it's good that, uh, that as it moves on into the prayer of faith part, which is headed, you know, is anybody in trouble? You should pray. Is anybody happy? Let them sing songs of praise. Mm-hmm. And that's, you know, like a direct going back to um, chapter one, isn't it? When it talks about actually uh, having, is it chapter one? When it talks about being, yes, consider pure joy, my brothers, whenever you face trials of many kinds because you'll know that the testing of your faith develops perseverance. Mm. And so he's sort of all automatically come back towards the end on a similar vein, isn't he, really? About being happy, about persevering. Yeah, absolutely. And I, th- I, think this is a, yeah. I find it quite odd that James has obviously written this letter, and it's a very practical letter, and then right at the end, he kind of throws in um, a, f- uh, a few passages with with almost the spiritual content in it, yeah. um, and it's almost like, well, this should just be an ex- this is just expected. So I'm just reminding you, you don't need a lot on this because you should know this already. already. Yeah. Um, you know, you should know to pray. You should know to worship. Um, if you're unwell, you should know to 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 get people to you know the elders it says to come and pray and anoint you, and you should have faith for healing. Of course, that's a really it's a really big subject. <laughs> Um, probably not going to do it justice now, but it's almost like it's uh, well. That's an expectation. I'm yeah. just going to remind you of it very quickly in a few sentences at the end of the letter. But it's a challenge, isn't it? Mm. To, to to do we do we pray? Do we worship outside of what goes on? You know, for the for the church service part. Obviously, things are different at the moment. But is it our whole life? Uh, action to pray to worship um do we trust god for healings are we people of faith believing that actually miracles are possible yeah because also on 17 it goes he, you know elijah was a human being so that's that, that one says he he was like you and i yeah. yeah yeah you know he was no one special and not this you know putting the person down he was a human being even as we are but he prayed earnestly you know, from a a, a a a bad expression, a common person, as it were, prayed, had faith, and this is what God did alongside because of prayer, as it were. Yeah, I'm sure it's like that perseverance, isn't it? You know, Elijah, he prayed earnestly that it would not rain, and didn't rain on the land for three and a half years. Yeah. I think that probably goes back to the point when you said he probably just didn't pray, don't don't rain for the next three and a half years, and put his feet up. Yeah, he earnestly prayed, prayed all that yeah. time. That's the perseverance and of faith, I suppose. And I suppose it all time comes back to 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 the the faith part as well. And he had faith that the, you know, the the prayer has an impact. He had faith to pray to the Lord, you know, and he knew it was the right thing to do in a circumstance that he found himself. You know, how many times again? I must stop using the expression. How many times again? That, but the point is, is that you know we encourage each each one of us to spend a time in prayer. You know, and it's not just playing lip service, but actually spend time in prayer and, you know, and have that conversation and have that faith to to know that prayer works. You know, it's probably a, a better way to describe that, but it's the faith behind the prayer. In this example, he knew if he prayed that there would be rain. And, you know, God said, well, yeah, you have faith in me and it will rain. Yeah. And again, he prayed and it stopped. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Or it started, sorry. Yeah. yeah, it stopped and it started. It stopped and it started, yeah. I, I think it's worth putting in a caveat, though, isn't there? Because we can be, beat ourselves up over the, the, the sense of faith. So when we pray for people, and uh, yeah. and we've all had the experience, we pray for people and they haven't been healed, or mm, that yeah. miracle hasn't happened, we can beat ourselves up saying, well, I obviously didn't have enough faith, or they obviously didn't have enough mm. faith, or there was this, or there was that. Actually, the whole thing is so much more nuanced than just faith. James yeah. is putting it very simply. Yes, an example. Yeah. Um, so we do need to be careful because otherwise we can run down a path of blaming. Well, I didn't get healed because yeah. you didn't have enough faith. Oh, yeah, totally kind of agree. Yeah. Um, and actually, that's a much bigger topic for another day of, of, you know, of the healing. And if we looked at the episodes of healing, the things that happened in the Bible, they come in all different ways. Sometimes Jesus says, your faith healed you. That's right. Um, uh, uh, other times, uh, there's other reasons. Uh, if you look into the Old Testament, all kinds of wonderful things happen. Um, so we have to be really careful yeah. uh, when we get to that. I just think it's worth, worth mentioning. Yeah, no, that's a good, good Otherwise, point, we beat Martin. ourselves yeah. up, don't we? Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Well, I obviously oh, don't have totally enough faith. Yeah. But 
what God calls us to do is pray for healing. He doesn't always say he will always heal. No. You know, he calls us to do it, and so our expectation should be to pray for it and then leave it up to God. Yeah, no, I, I think you've summed up really well, Martin. You know, a lot of conversation was about the verse in this particular, yeah. um, you know, where, where James was talking about it. And I'm totally, yeah, you're right. I think you said about prayer and, you know, how faith works. Yeah, because, I mean, you say, saying there, Elijah, though he prayed for it not to rain for three and a half years, he still had work to do in between yeah. Yeah. until he prayed again that it would rain. Yeah, I guess the other thing here is the accountability as well, isn't it? Yeah. You know, James was talking about confess your sins to each other and pray for each other. You know, that's really hard, confessing your sins. You know, I've got to open up myself, open up and share the things that do wrong. Now, it's not saying with everybody. It's an accountability thing, isn't it? Get to know someone. Have a, uh, have a mutual bond with someone. Mm. Be discipled by someone, um, and actually share together uh, and be accountable. Mm. Well, you'll be glad to know this week, Terry. I've got no uh, question to ask towards the end. So you haven't? No. So, oh, <laughs> sorry. So I presume the last bit is that there were people, people wandering away from the church. So uh, he was just asking them that, uh, that they should bring them back into the fold again, really. But again, that's the accountability yeah. part, isn't it? Yeah. You know, it's be accountable for each other. If you see someone wandering away from the faith, gently try and steer them back. Um, you might not be able to, but... Well, at least come alongside them yeah. and feel they're still supportive, yeah. you know, whilst they're going through this period of time. Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, say James is emph emphasised in, in this five chapters, I suppose, of faith in action and uh, right living, and the evidence is the result of faith. Yeah, I, I think, you know, going through James um, has given us so much, hasn't it? Yeah. So much the focus on being people of action and faith. Mm. Um, not one or the other. No. But both together. Mm. So as we've read this, it's not something that we just really can think about. It's something we should be doing. And trust, as it's been saying, especially in this chapter, the trust must have hands and feet, and it's ours. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. What a good place to, to good end place there, to yeah. leave it, isn't it? Yeah. Trust. Yeah. <laughs> Faith indeed. Well, that's the end of our readings from James. Enjoyed it as much as we have. Just going to, and I might spring this on Mark, I'd like to close in prayer, because I never asked him before. <laughs> <laughs> but would you like to close in prayer for us, Martin? Absolutely. At the end, at the end of our James readings. Yeah, absolutely. Particularly after last week, and my mic not working. So <laughs> we want to hear your voice. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for uh, the times we spent looking at your word in James. We thank you for all the, the practical thoughts and the practical passages that help us to focus on being your hands and feet. And Lord, would you help us to go out into this world to serve you and to serve each other, to be people of action and faith, to remember to pray, to remember to worship, and to remember to do. And Lord, we thank you for all you do for us. And Lord, I thank you for each and every member of our congregation and each and every person watching this video today. Lord, would you bless them as you bless us. We love you and we praise you, Lord Jesus. Amen. 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 Amen.